Hey y'all, just wanted to film a quick video on these 3D printed anti-tilt followers for M1 carbine magazines. The magazines themselves, both the GI production, such as here on the left, and the new production, such as this KCI on the right, are based on the same pattern of magazines that really hasn't been updated or improved since the original pattern back in the 1940s. So the first thing I'd like to mention is there's two different versions of the follower. The orange follower has a flat back bullet guide similar to like these KCI followers so these will lock the bolt open after the last rounds fired. The black follower here is based on the original pattern um, which has an angled bullet guide and so the bolt will close after the last round is fired and ejected. A few of the design improvements of the new M1 carbine follower are the most obvious being the extended front skirt this is the heart of the anti-tilt operation of the follower. Obviously it stabilizes the follower in the magazine body, prevents or limits any kind of tilt, and provides for a smoother and more reliable operation of the follower. You can also see that there's a slight upward angle to the follower from the back to the front, which improves the presentation angle of the cartridge about to be chambered and ensure that the nose of the cartridge clears the front feed lips on the magazine and is properly guided up the feed ramp into the chamber. Basically, it smooths up the entire chambering operation. In my experience running my particular M1 carbine with GI magazines, GI followers have a lot of downward play at the nose of the follower. And if you can see there, it can actually get stuck in a slightly downward angle. Combine that with a fairly steep feed angle on the M1 carbine, I would often get rounds that would jam into the bottom of the feed ramp rather than right up the feed ramp and induce a failure to chamber malfunction. So the new followers have that improved presentation angle to improve the reliability of chambering as well as the function of the magazine. One of the design goals of the improved follower is to ease the servicing and cleaning process of the magazine. So the original style of follower has to be inserted at kind of an odd angle. It doesn't always slide up to the top of the magazine super easily. And in some cases, the follower can get jammed in the magazine as you're trying to remove it. It's not that it's a super difficult process, it just doesn't always go smoothly. Someone who doesn't know any better, due to the trapezoidal design of the M1 carbine spring, might easily insert it with the tall end facing forward that's been known to induce malfunctions in M1 carbines. So the improved follower design has an integral spring hook which retains the magazine spring and follower together as one unit. There's a relief cut along the side of the follower which allows the follower and spring to be inserted smoothly as one unit and removed. So now let's have a look at some of the differences in functionality between an original GI magazine with an original style of follower and a new production KCI magazine with an improved follower. Starting with the GI magazine, if I apply pressure to different areas, front to back, side to side, there's quite a bit of movement even here at the top of the magazine. Most importantly, at the back of the magazine, this is where the feed lips are. So this is what's supporting the cartridge. If I begin to apply downward pressure, like we haven't even cleared the first three to five rounds, and there's a severe amount of tilt of the follower. And it gets worse until the spring binds up. Not a very stable design, not conducive to very reliable operation, especially on magazines that have seen a lot of use. Having a look at the improved follower, if we do the same test, There's a bit of front and back play. That's just due to the design tolerances involved. That being said, if I apply pressure at the back of the follower, I can go all the way to the bottom of the magazine, bottom out the travel, and back up. Same thing at the front of the follower, all the way down, all the way back up. Much smoother design, much more stable operation. An additional feature on the new followers is this relief cut at the nose of the bullet guide. That's to allow additional clearance for the last round being chambered. Like I talked about previously, the M1 carbine has a fairly steep feed angle that gets narrower. So the last round in the magazine, as it's being chambered, is fed up 
and to the right. That relief cut at the nose of the bullet guide ensures that the round is fed smoothly into the chamber without having to fight resistance for the magazine spring. And for those of you that don't want to limit your capacity to a meager 15 rounds, this is a new production KCI 30 rounder with an improved follower. So the improved follower does also fit and function in the KCI 30 rounders. Just wanted to demonstrate some of the capabilities of these improved followers. Appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your interest and your support.